What would your self-portrait look like? Would you be able to create a piece that represents you? You with all your accomplishments, fears, and beliefs? Would you mention everything or hide some parts of yourself? Ottoman Empire managed to preserve a self-portrait that is, unexpectedly, a monogram. Ottoman Empire is one of the largest empires in history. The empire was founded in Anatolia, which is modern-day Turkey. This empire then expanded and included what is now known as Bulgaria, Egypt, Greece, Hungary, Jordan, Lebanon, Israel and the Palestinian territories, Macedonia, Romania, Syria, parts of Arabia, and north coast of Africa. The longest reigning sultan of this empire is Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. He was the 10th sultan of Ottoman Empire and ruled for 46 years. For this oral presentation, I'm choosing Togra or insignia of Sultan Suleiman. The insignia or monogram of a sultan is required in all official documents in order to pass laws and orders and for them to be considered valid. This specific insignia, with all its complexity, was created during the end of Sultan Suleiman's rule. There's a lot to unpack for visual analysis. The insignia was created with ink, opaque watercolor, and gold on paper. The loose, flowy calligraphy of this insignia can be seen a great deal in the Islamic world. The royal artist took it a notch up as it was a royal monogram. The color scheme, dark blue, gold, and a darker gold, unmistakably gives the calligraphy a royal flair. There are hints of deep red, baby pink, light green, and light blue. These secondary colors are only present to draw the flowers that adorn the original insignia. The insignia is adorned with very fine vines and a variety of plants. It makes the insignia look richer and delicate simultaneously. The vines also help the insignia to stand out as a whole without diverting the audience's attention toward themselves. The overall texture of insignia is flowy and windy while being constricted to a small space. It helps to accentuate the insignia without making it look daunting. The insignia reads Suleiman Shah ibn Salim Shah Khan al Muzaffar and ends with Daima, which means victorious forever. The insignia was created between 1555 to 1560. This is at least after 35 years of the start of Sultan Suleiman's rule. So the calligraphy and art isn't only for beautification, but also to represent Sultan's rule. Along with being longest ruling king in Ottoman Empire's history, the empire was also at its strongest during Sultan Suleiman's rule. However, the empire flourished not only militarily, but also with arts and cultures. The latter happened due to Suleiman's personal interest in arts and calligraphy. After knowing this, you get to see the insignia in a new light. The bold calligraphy is meant to represent a sultan with a strong military base. However, the flowers and their flowy patterns represent the artistic flourishing of the empire within his rule. I picked this piece because growing up as a Muslim, I was always taught that Ottoman Empire was important. Expansion of Ottoman Empire has definitely helped expand Islam. So in Islamic world, this empire has great importance. I'm also a South Asian Muslim. During World War II, South Asian Muslims fought on British side in exchange for promise that if British won, they would not break and divide the empire. Unsurprisingly, British did not keep their promise. They broke down the empire to what we now know as Turkey. So. Indirectly, Turkey has played a part in my country's history. Islamic art, specifically calligraphy, has overall similarity in it. So to study this insignia, it can give a peek inside Islamic art world. Personally, I think this insignia is a self-portrait of Sultan Suleiman. It includes his vision of prosperity and strength. As an artist, I relate to the struggle of creating self-portraits. There's so much in a living, breathing human, it's hard to contain it all in one canvas. However, this insignia did a beautiful job in summarizing the longest and strongest rule of Ottoman Empire. 
This insignia has multiple layers to it. It shows what Sultan Suleiman stood for and what he accomplished. It represents Ottoman Empire during that era. At the same time, it serves the purpose of a delicate yet bold art piece and a self-portrait. An art that is abstract and concrete at the same time. It distinctly represents its origin while being universal. A piece that contradicts itself. Such a piece truly deserves to be a royal one.